the Prime Minister says officials putting New Zealand's freshwater up for sale will not happen under the coalition government. In 2015, New Zealand Trade and Enterprise contacted the Chinese bottling giant Nongfu Spring, and similar companies around the world, about potentially investing in local water businesses. That revelation has prompted calls from anti-water bottling campaigners for assurances that's no longer happening. Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern said she was appalled to find out about what NZTE had been doing. West Coast France Joseph was listed as one of the pristine glaciers that overseas investors might come and want to take a stake in, she said. I find it incredible that we would have been in that position in 2015 and absolutely unacceptable. M. Zardern did not see bottling freshwater as an opportunity for overseas investment in New Zealand. Earlier this year, Nongfu Spring was given approval to expand its Otakiri Springs water bottling plant near Wukatane, with the aim of exporting more than 1 billion litres of water a year. The decision is currently being appealed through the Environment Court. The company's application to the Overseas Investment Office, released under the Official Information Act, said NZTE officials actively encouraged it to buy a bottling facility. NZTE indicated that investment in New Zealand water enterprises would be welcome, the application said. Otiara Water Action spokesperson Nikki Gladding said she was staggered by NZTE's efforts behind closed doors, given the clear public opposition. How much of this has been going on? We've just scratched the surface with these documents, Ems Gladding said. We don't know how many bottling companies are involved. How many bottling plants have been pushed? We don't know if it's still going on. Ems Gladding called for the new government to confirm it had put an end to any initiatives encouraging foreign bottlers to invest in New Zealand. New Zealand should not be welcoming bottling companies to its shores, she said. You've got to wonder why the government was pushing this because the benefits to New Zealand are insignificant when the environmental costs are taken into account. Wikatain environmentalist Moira Kertai told RNZ she was absolutely gobsmacked by the revelations. We believe in looking after our people. Sending our water overseas is not looking after our people.